This AUV system is the first demo reload that Intel has done. So the first of these systems is now coming to, to Fab 34. And then we look forward to having uh, subsequent tools in, in the years ahead. You know, it is the future of semiconductor manufacturing and it's great that it's finally arrived here at Fab 34. This EV scanner, it's an absolutely incredible machine. It's, it's arguably the technological achievement of our generation, even though many people outside the semiconductor industry have probably never heard of it. But what it can do in terms of its capability, it really brings us to the next stage of manufacturing. We've seen, really seen the importance of this technology um, that enables all of that starts here. What it's able to do is, is really a step change in lithography processing. Lithography is that special part of the process where the architecture of the microchip gets transferred from a glass template and it transfers and patterns and images onto the wafer. As the, the microchip is built up in layers by layers, uh, lithography is where those subsequent layers come to get aligned by our scanners. So it can print features down to 13 nanometers in size. So that's 7,500 times smaller than a human hair. So it's able to resolve these incredibly fine features by generating UV light, and it does that by generating 13 and a half nanometer light out of a 25 kilowatt CO2 laser. This is the first time that the tool has left Oregon. Since it's one of the most complex tools we've ever taken on, the whole process rallies around getting these tools up and running first. For the last two years, we've been preparing uh, the site, uh, the construction of the building, getting the ceiling ready, and then I'm also training the local team here, as well as what we call seeds coming from different factories around the world. So the system, as it comes in here, it's a big effort. It requires four Boeing uh, cargo planes to, to bring the tool here. There's over 50 freight units and 35 trucks. So we've been receiving the parts of the tool since December, and we bring the tool in in, in stages and in segments. When the tool is disassembled, it's shipped up to Seattle and then flown over to Luxembourg and then put on trucks and driven all the way to Dublin. These tools are some of the most technologically advanced tools ever made. And I'm just amazed that somebody comes up with an idea to vaporize tin, turn it into a plasma light, and then turn that into the pattern on a computer chip. This is the future of semiconductor manufacturing and it's arrived and it's, it's starting here. So it's, it's fantastic that this capability effectively starts in Leaklift and starts here with a bare silicon wafer. The types of products that this should be able to make over the years ahead you know, is exciting in terms of the next generation of, of server chips, of personal devices. So it really is you know, a special moment where we can put a tool like this with this capability and actually produce those products that, that change people's lives.